Hello everyone, my name is Dee and welcome to Books and Quirks. Today is Wednesday and it's time for Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey as now hosted by Sam of Thoughts and Tomes. So today's topic is Top 5 Summer Reads. So let's get to it. The first book that I want to talk about is the first book in the Sirena Legacy Trilogy. This book is of Poseidon by Anna Banks. I almost, I almost forgot the name. It's of Poseidon by Anna Banks and this is very much a summer read. It's very light and fluffy. It has some adventure of course. You know it's a mermaid book um, and it's just very fun. I think this is a perfect beach read at, or even if you're not at the beach you know it's just a perfect summer summery type read. Um, it takes place at the beach, obviously, you know, with the mermaids, so I think it's it's just perfect. The next book that I want to talk about is A Court of Thorns and Roses. Now, when I think of summer, I think of, of course, lighter reads with some adventure, but I also think of romance, and, you know, this book has has both. It just has, you know, it's an amazing fantasy. It does have romance. It's a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. And I think it's just a beautiful, beautiful book. Um, so this is one that I do plan on rereading this summer. And then I will go on to the second book, A Court of Mist and Fury. The next book that I want to talk about is We Were Liars. This book was going around book two probably a year ago. And I read it when it first came out. And it's by Lee E. Lockhart. And this book is also very much a summer read. It takes place in the summer, it follows this group of friends, and there's a big mystery involved. I really can't say much more um, because it's so easy to give away with this book. You know this book, when it first came out, everyone was saying go into it blind, go into it not knowing anything, and it is so true. You know, there's very little I can say without giving away anything. And it's a very tiny book. It's very, very short. Um, so I think, you know, if you're a big reader, if you're a fast reader, you can read this in one sitting. You know, even if you're a slower read it, reader, it could take you just two or three days to finish it. It's under 300 pages. Oh, it's just actually a little over 200 pages, so it's even shorter than, than I remembered. But it's such a good, good book especially with the twist um, at the end. The next book is a romance. It's a new adult romance and of course it's Colleen Hoover. I couldn't I couldn't do this tag without doing a Colleen Hoover novel but to be quite honest any of her novels will do. Um, this one is of course Confess um, and she's coming out with a new novel. I forget the name of it but she's coming out with a new one in August. She comes out with one every year and I just I love her books. They're so, they're so light and summery to me because they are just pure romance. And I am a romance junkie. I love fantasy, but I also love romance. So this to me is a perfect um, summer read, but any of her novels really are a perfect summer read. And five, last but not least, is another adult novel, and it's Austin Land. And I love Jane Austen. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know how much I love Jane Austen. And this is all about Jane Austen. <laughs> I mean, not necessarily. It follows a young woman who goes to England and stays at this estate. And they sort of reenact scenes from Pride and Prejudice and Emma. And, you know, all, they hire these actors. And it's just fun. And it takes place in the summer, and it's just a fun, cute romance. And if you enjoy Jane Austen at all, I think you would love this. But even if you don't enjoy Jane Austen, I know she's kind of like, you kind of have a love-hate relationship with her. I think that this novel will still be fun, because it's not a Jane Austen novel. It's written in contemporary times, and I just think that it's just a fun read. And it's also very short. It's under 200 pages once again. So that's all I have for you. Those are my novels for Top 5 Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time. Bye!